Hi, and thank you again for joining me here on the Ina Show. Today I'm going to read to you a letter that I had received via the email and a concern of a young woman. Her name is Tanya. It reads, I'm concerned about our self-image as women. What mode of beauty are we comparing ourselves? I see beautiful black women of all shapes and sizes and hues but some of us still have a Barbie complex. Well, Tanya, you know, sometimes that complex comes because of what is portrayed to us in society. So, you know, we see billboards and on the movie theaters and on television. Uh, what is projected to us is that the Barbie complex is the beautiful complex. It's the complex that everyone prefers. And that's not really the truth. That's not, that's a lie. It's actually a fantasy. And it's a made up fantasy of a select few <laughs> group of people. But because we are visually uh, made up people, human beings, are visually impressed, oftentimes things that are put out there as far as uh, on commercials and television and the billboards, we take that in and we say that's how it should be. But it's not. We as women have to learn to love ourselves and appreciate ourselves and even like who we are in our own skin. Sometimes we don't like who we are in our own skin. And so we think what we see out there is better than what's here. But in reality, there is the only you. There's only one you. There's only one Ina, one Tanya, and one whoever else, Jill. It doesn't matter what her name is. And it doesn't matter whether she's black or white, whatever color she is and whatever race she is. All women must come to the place in their lives where they love and genuinely appreciate who they are. One of the ways that I continue to boost my self-esteem, and I still do this up to this day, is I stand in the mirror, and sometimes I stand in the mirror and I face myself naked. What a way to really appreciate who you are is to face who you are naked in the mirror and say, I like who I am. I like the body that I live in. I like the skin that I have. Love your mocha color skin. Love your pink hues in your skin. Love the red undertones in your skin. Love your smile and love your nose. Whatever it is that's about you that you think is not attractive, it's usually attractive to someone else. We're all made up of different sizes and shapes. The important thing is, is that we are comfortable in our own skin. And when you're comfortable in your own skin, that means that you are healthy mentally and you are healthy physically. When you're healthy mentally and physically, you're healthy emotionally. And all three of those things, spirit, soul, and body, is what makes up the human being. Oftentimes we're sickly in our physical makeup, such as the Barbie skin syndrome, anorexic, all those things being so frail and skinny that it's not healthy, is because we have sick thoughts. We have uh, uh, limiting thoughts about ourselves. We think, we don't think very well nor highly of ourselves. We don't think that we're worthy. Or we think we're ugly. And it's usually because of something that someone has said or some trauma that we have gone through in our childhood. But to break that trauma and to break those modes, all you have to do is begin to say to yourself and face yourself, the woman in the mirror, and say, you know what, you're precious. You're precious to God and you're precious to me. You're precious to, in, to, for, up to other people, to the people that matter to you and the people who you help. Another thing is realize that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Behold your own beauty. <laughs> Behold your own beauty. If you have to embrace your own beauty, that's where it begins. That's where it starts. If you have to embrace your curvy body or your busty breast, embrace it. And sure, you can always 
do some tweaking on your body. You can always add a little here and take a little there. But you know what? Sometimes people go to extreme, such as some of the famous, uh, the famous celebrities that are out there. They go to extremes on their faces and on their makeup, with whether it's cosmetic surgery or whatever it is about their body that they're trying to change. But they no longer look human. <laughs> Sometimes they don't look real. They do look plastic. They do look Barbie, Barbie-like. But that's not real the, where the real beauty comes from. The real beauty comes from within. And it exudes without. So remember that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And you must behold your own beauty first. Also, what one man thinks is beautiful, another may not. Some people may think that breasts are a absolutely adorable, and then you have some men who don't think women who are big-breasted are, be are, are, are their type. It's all about preference. Then you have to appreciate the very fact that you have breasts, because there are females out there who had to have surgery to remove br a breast or even both because of uh, cancer. So appreciating and being grateful for what you have is so important. It is so important. There's always someone else out there, worse off than you, who's dealing with struggles and challenges that you may never face. You know, I may never face. But you know what? I've seen and I've met women who've had to have their breasts removed, and some of them are the most beautiful people in the world. You know why? Because they come to love and appreciate themselves. They may have even lost their hair, but they come to love and appreciate themselves in their skin. They, they appreciate every little thing about who they are and that they're still here, alive, on earth, to enjoy their family. They put things in the right perspective. And oftentimes when we lose something, something that matters to us, that's when we tend to put things in the right perspective. You don't have to wait too late. You can learn from others, and you can embrace your mocha skin, and you can embrace your beautiful smile. You can embrace life. So I hope that that helped you, uh, Tanya, this time today. And I want to leave you with a thought. I oftentimes write little thoughts or little quotes and even affirmations. And here is one for you today. Fabulosity is a state of mind. If you think you are fabulous, then you are. Visit me on my website at www.theenashow.com and I look forward to visiting with you again.